Thank you, Katrine, for that wonderful introduction. And thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your busy day uh, to spend some time with us to talk about uh, communications and especially NLP. I'm super excited to be here and looking forward to an engaging conversation today. So why are we here today? So we're going to talk about communication in general. Um, I will give a brief introduction to what NLP is. It's, um, it's, it's a very wide and broad subject. So I'll give a quick introduction on that. And then we'll dive straight into the communication model, which is the most important one here. And then we're going to talk about how to apply that with agile teams. What are some of the challenges we face with agile teams? And then we're going to talk about what can you take from here and implement with your teams tomorrow. And then we'll open it up for sessions. Sounds good? All right, we'll go ahead and get started. So why is communication important? It's a loaded question. Why is communication important? So a lot of times uh, we mean something and we say it, but the way people may understand that is going to be totally different. A lot of times um, it's understood totally different and then they might speak to somebody else and then it's misunderstood again and it, it causes a chain reaction. And the reason a lot of these things happen is because of uh, misrepresentation, uh, it's miscommunication, and uh, historical data exists today to show, you know, what is the impact of uh, this kind of miscommunication. Um, as we know, about 96% of all our communication comes from nonverbal cues. And in today's world, especially after COVID-19 has hit us, uh, we're doing a lot more communication, uh, you know, through remote, through electronic gadgets, through uh, web-enabled, uh, you know, uh, ways of communicating. And we also uh, have moved to a way where we are doing a lot more brevity. So we want to say a lot of things, people don't have time, so we make it short. And when you make it very short, um, uh, a lot is lost in brevity as well. So they say that um, companies that have communication issues um, about 50% or more chances of their turnover when there are communication problems from leadership level, right? About $37 billion, not million, billion dollars are lost every year uh, because of failures in communication. And about 57% of all projects, 57% of all projects, um, they fail because of poor communication. So absolutely there is a lot of proof. There's a lot of uh, studies that has been done. Um, so it goes without saying that communication is extremely important. And uh, miscommunication, uh, based on a lot of statistics and studies, has shown that a lot of uh, you know distrust, disengagement happens in workplace uh, because of communication. And we're here today to talk about how can we improve communication. So a couple of months ago, somebody was telling me a story um, about this nursery rhyme, which I'm sure everybody has uh, come across this, right? Um, everybody who has a child um, has seen this or heard this, and it's one of the most primary nursery rhymes. So the, this particular sentence, Mary had a little lamb, very simple sentence. And uh, this friend of mine was obviously he was joking, but he's saying that, you know, I got so many different meanings from this sentence. And I'm saying, okay, tell me more. So he said, okay. So Mary had a little lamb in past tense because it's his past tense. Mary had a little lamb, but it's gone now. So sad. You know, she doesn't have that lamb anymore. And the other one he said is, uh, Mary went to dinner. And there was a lot of lamb there, really nice made lamb chops. Uh, but she had just a little lamb. She, you know, she couldn't eat much. She just ate a little lamb. 
And then he said, Mary had a little lamb, but it's all grown now. It's a sheep. Um, you know, time flies. I know it's a silly example, but just a simple sentence that we sometimes just take at face value. But if we don't give enough context, we don't give them enough information, um, that simple sentence can be totally misconstrued. Thank you.